All right, we're going to do a comparison between the X0, X1, X2, and X3, and we'll start off with the X0. And you know, this is on the lowest mode, not much light here, about a lumen or so of light. You can see it on the ground. If I hold, you can see it's getting a little bit brighter. Second mode, just sort of see ahead for a few meters and peripheral vision. Everything close by is pretty good. Okay, so even a short distance. Okay. Third ramp level. Okay. Third ramp level. Still can see the path ahead to the right, but that's about it. You know, 10, 20 or so meters, it looks pretty clear. Again, okay, this is the fourth mode, and this is pretty, I would say this is a really nice combination of throw and flood. And, uh, really sufficient brightness for most purposes is fourth mode but you can bump it to turbo and look at that wow very impressive very impressive and it does start to ramp down after a little bit but i find that if you turn it off and reactivate the turbo you get another 30 seconds of that high mode and there's very sufficient heat sinking on this light as well. You can see it already start to ramp down a little bit. So I can turn it off, on, double tap, and you've got another shot of turbo. Okay. Great sort of three uh, 180 degree beam. You can see here on the camera, um, I mean, it's just almost looks like a flat line on the ground, um, really like that. Okay. Okay, coming up next, we've got the X2. And this is the lowest mode, and yeah, you know, nice, floody beam. More concentrated in the center. Even the lowest mode is really sufficient for walking. Uh, if you don't want too much light, still sufficient to see ahead of you a few meters. Second mode, well, especially in the sort of pitch black like this, it is great. More than enough light. Okay, trees to the left, it's illuminating the trees to the left. Middle. Uh, third mode here. Uh, hitting those trees easily. Okay, one, two, three. So it's sort of the three modes, as you can see. And then turbo double tap, and wow, look at that. This is pretty, pretty damn bright. And I like how the beam is, I mean, you just got this 180 degree line on the on the ground so you can just see all into your peripherals as well and uh, I think it is ramping down very slowly but it's doing a good job considering how small the host is but you've got these three P9 emitters in there and they have excellent efficiency and they don't produce as much heat as well so it's keeping up quite well. Okay, turn that off. Okay, got the Wuben X3. Lowest mode, not really visible. Two. Okay, 50 lumens. Nice sort of beam, and it does look it's funny, because when you use it indoors, it's the beam does look rectangular a little bit. Not rectangular, it's sort of square shape, but out here, you really can't tell at all, it just looks smooth. Okay, 150 lumen mode. Okay, you can see those trees up there. It's got a, a decent amount of throw as well, which I think anyway is important. With even a smaller light like this, you can see that centralized hotspot, but you've got lots of lots of spill as well. Almost 180 degrees forwards. Uh, double 
press to get the 700 lumen mode. Great, great throw for such a little light. It does ramp down quickly though on this mode. You can sort of turn it off and turn it back on again. Okay. But, uh, look at that. You see already ramping down, so turn it off, turn it on, and then double tap again. Another shot at turbo. I like how they all have a bit of throw as well as this beautiful smooth beam. Finally we got the X1 lowest mode. Lowest mode's decent. Um, yeah, pretty bright, good enough for walking. Okay, can't really see much into those trees in the background. Let's hold it down. Second mode, getting brighter and very, very floody. It's more floody than anything. There's us more lumens focused in the center of the beam. Okay, third mode. And uh, this is even brighter, lots of spill and the trees to the left are starting to be illuminated, especially the one close to me, the one in the back is also illuminated. Okay, fourth mode, and this is pretty bright, um, it's almost starting to blow out the camera close to the front, but you can see it's illuminating those trees so easily there to the left and uh, the path ahead all the way to the end. I can't quite see the trees at the back. I wouldn't say it's, it could be just tinting the trees a little, yeah, slightly, the white sides, but uh, yeah, the ones to the left all good. Okay, cycle back, one, two, three, four, and turbo. And this is really, I mean, this is really incredible. It's just blowing out the camera close to the front, but uh, trees to the left, uh, no issues at all. Um, I can see all the trees out in the back. It's tinting all the trees out in the back section. I'll just go for a quick walk.